You're watching Rock Tour Live right here on Y254 TV, your favorite youth channel. My name is Philin, that's at Philin Jin across all socials. And now, guess what? We played you our top three at, at five, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, top three at five. So I want you to head over to our Twitter. That is at Rock254. Vote your favorite. And we're going to be telling you who's leading by the end of the show. Then come next week, I'm going to be telling you who actually one now <laughs> i don't know if you've been on our pages but we had a poster for our guest now he is the number one okay let me just uh, put it this way you see how um like mainstream have like a uh, good demands gmc full stop and people like this like dng those people that hype events now in rock we have <laughs> the number one rock hype man he's also a vocalist of a facial bind and he goes by the name Danny Bizarro. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine now. I'm fine. I just want to that's what I'm talking about. What's yeah. up? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I haven't actually seen you since Rona. What's up? What I have know. you been up to? It's been a man? minute. It's been a while. I've just been around mm -hmm. hibernating <laughs> like everyone else. <laughs> But right, apart right. from that, just been, you know, the regulations of the government to stay in the house. Wow, bizarre. Significantly. You stayed in the house. <laughs> yeah, so, but. I find that hard to believe. Other than that, <laughs> I can't complain. I'm good. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for having me here. <laughs> I cannot. I can't, like, I can't even begin to comprehend what he just said. But yes. yeah, you know, like, I said this being corona is significantly. Serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the run is serious. We gotta stay indoors, y'all. Just observe the containment measures being advocated for by the government or the Ministry of Health, if you like, right? Now, mm -hmm. welcome to the show. How have Thank you been you. since we last saw you? I've been okay. Apart from Rona, apart from what you just told us, mm -hmm. what have you been doing? Like, what do you do to just like um, make sure that you stay, you keep it a hundred? I do a lot of things. Yes, tell us. But, what uh, I do, guys? We're looking for things to keep us busy. Uh, <laughs> do whatever you're doing. <laughs> okay, for um, purposes of TV, I work out. <laughs> I, um, I, um, of, of course, I've been practicing vocals at home. Yes, since that's very important. We're not able to meet regularly like we used to for practice. Right, know, exactly. People, people are busy in different fields. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I've just been staying at home. Cool. So, yeah. Okay, now let's get a little bit serious. Now, mm -hmm. um, you are a lead vocalist for a Kenyan band called Aphasia. First of all, Aphasia, how did that come about? Because, you know, there's also another international band by mm -hmm. the same name. So, did you just like copy paste? Um, uh, is that like one of the bands that inspire you? Or what really happened? How did the name come Aphasia, about? Aphasia, the name? Yeah, yeah, the name of the band. Uh, the name actually came about from the founder of the band. Right. Uh, yeah, who also happens to be in another band. Right. The, that was not the initial name of the band. Mm -hmm. The band started as Bodies in the Ocean. Right. For oldies in the scene, okay. and remember, uh -huh. where we started as Bodies in the Ocean. That was before I joined the band. Right. That was around, the, it was a side project actually mm -hmm. of, uh, of an existent band. Right. So this, the founder of this band, I don't know if I'm allowed to mention, but he had another band that was much more active. Right. So they needed a vocalist for Bodies in the Ocean. And that's when I was... So when you I came in, you, you had to like switch up things a little bit uh, and like... It was more of a collective oh, decision right. because it was of like where everyone, the songwriting everyone. was headed. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Now, yeah. I want to know, now, Bizarro, not Aphasia, but Bizarro. So what got you into the music industry, really? Uh, what got me into the music industry? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, or, or just take us through the journey. How did that happen for you? Because like everybody has a story. What's yours? Uh, in the industry as yes, a yes. band How did member. You get there? Like you being, uh, being in the scene, hyping events, hosting events, and now actually being a lead vocalist for a band. How did that come about? Uh, I'm not sure if I should answer from the hyping events part, <laughs> but uh, I'll start from the okay. Answer as an artist. As, as an, an artist. artist, yes. 
<laughs> as an artist, it was more of uh, influence from some local bands that have been around for a while. Right. You know, we have last year's tragedy. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to attend the shows as, you know, we were younger then. Mm -hmm. So we weren't really in bands, but we really wanted to be those guys. It yeah. was really cool as rock fans. We didn't think there is a scene, an underground scene. Mm -hmm. So that was one of the main reasons why I got into it. Because I right. also, you know, I saw, I don't know, I saw Cheesy on stage and I was like, man, I want to do that one. You, want, so you want to be like him? Started you're... learning vocals and... And that's how it came about. Yeah. But I want to know, like, um, so you mentioned the LOAT. Are this like some yeah. of your influencers? Greatest influences. Like, and who else? Who else influenced you or in just inspired industry, you? In the yeah. industry. Yeah, could be lo even international as well. Okay, I'll, I'll start with the local first. Right. LOAT. There was uh, Inoth. Mm -hmm. There was uh, Last of a Dying Breed. The bands that were actually starting, and there are very few metal bands. Right. Yeah. Internationally, it's a long list, but... Um, mm -hmm. I'll just say mostly, <laughs> I'll say, um, I'll just mention about three or four. Right. But it's a long list. I'll say um, there's a Suicide Silence, um, Kill Switch Engage. Right. Um, As I Lay Dying. And last but not least, I'll say I'm on Amath, even though I don't do that genre. Right. But that was the person who, that was my first metal CD was an I'm on Amath CD. Okay. So that's, I always put them on the top of the list, <laughs> even though I went to a different subgenre. You, 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 you took a different path, they, they but are, they always inspired they made the cut. you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now, I want to know, take us through, you know, uh, for most bands, they rely on the lead a lot, like in terms of like songwriting and just like being creative and everything. So, I want to take us through your creative, what's your creative process? Like, uh, how does that happen for you guys when you're making music, coming up with new music, just writing, what do you write about, what do you talk about what inspires your music really um what inspires our music even if you've had some of our previous music it's more of um let me allow me to take you back to the name cool the name aphasia was because our our founder of the band was involved in a project with uh, we wanted to do something for to raise awareness on aphasia, the condition. Right. You know, it's, a sick, it's like a condition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For those who, viewers who don't know, aphasia is a condition in which one cannot read or write as an uh, inability to communicate. Right. So the founder thought it would be best if we call it aphasia because the only way we can express ourselves is through the music. Okay. So, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So for the creative, pop, for the creative creativity and the writing mostly, I'll say, as a person who joined a band that was already in place, the writing was much more from our guitarist than we, most of us, we contribute each of us right. from different experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine, I have to say my writing can be very complicated <laughs> because we have different experiences. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like other singers and other subgenres, we just write based on, you know, so the happenings. Like just, everybody brings in something, People then you meet each other halfway. Too. Yes, because cool. you have different influences as yeah. instrumentalists. Oh, every, exactly. That yeah. now actually makes sense. Yes. But now, um, you as, uh, as Bizarro, what are you... Um, what are you working on? Or you as aphasia, mm -hmm. are you guys still together? Are you currently working on a project? Because we had a um, past like last week mm -hmm. and they told us there's a project you guys are working on together or yeah. have already worked on. I don't know how that is going, but like, is there any, anything else you're working on apart from these other side projects you're working with the different bands? Mm. Is there something you're doing as aphasia or you as Bizarro? I'll answer that in two parts. Mm -hmm. as, as Bizarro, yes, I'm... In, I have been involved in other side projects with other right. bands mm -hmm. and uh, trying to, you know, to do some solo vocal work for other bands. As Aphasia, uh, we, are still, we are still together, yes, but you know, the band was formed from uh, already instrumentalists who are in other bands. Right. So sometimes they get, you know, their other bands need them more, so you know, they're, <laughs> they're not so much into the band, so we right. don't do much. But in terms of writing, we are still writing. Mm -hmm. uh, aphasia, we are still writing. And uh, what I can assure people is that uh, we are not leaving again. <laughs> we are here to stay. You're here to stay. Aphasia That's what we stay. love to hear. Yes. That's what we love to hear, you know? Yes. Just like more music. More, more music. Like, like, what do you miss most about this, you know? Like, you know, Corona has just like messed oh. everything up. But what, what do you miss most? Because Bizarro never misses an event, by the way. All gigs, you'll find him there. 
he never misses. <laughs> Wow. He never misses any event. What do you miss most? Oh my god, the shows. Yeah, right? The shows, man. I think I even, there's a point I started jonesing, man. I need a, <laughs> I need a show because shows, like, they went a long way uh -huh. because, you know, we used to, you know, interact, mm -hmm. have so much fun, perform. Even apart from the music part and the shows, like the, the rock scene is a very unique it's scene very unique. because we are Super friends unique. and we're like a family. Right. So you can imagine if a government says no more visiting your family and <laughs> no more gatherings. But they actually did. They actually said that. So exactly. Yeah. So I get what you mean. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's that's one of the things I miss the most. I miss attending these shows. I miss playing on stage. I mean. Right. <laughs> I also you, mean, yeah. you're, you're going to rust, by the time you're coming back, you're like, okay, what did this one used to do? Mm -hmm. Like, it's true. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. I yeah. do hope not. Yeah. yeah, but like, that's just super amazing. Like, you being in the scene and just like uh, doing other things on the side. I know yeah. you have a day job, but you're mm -hmm. still very active in the scene as well. So, what's your favorite part about being um, an artist, actually? Just like being a lead vocalist and doing what you do. Mm -hmm. And also being a serious person, an eight to five person who goes to work, puts on maybe like official <laughs> Like uh, I can't even see that. Like I, I can't even imagine you in a suit okay. and tie. But like <laughs> what do you like most about being an artist that you can't do during like your work job maybe? Um, apart from the attention. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, being an artist is fun because you get to. <laughs> <laughs> your days of brother, like yeah, because I, I'm, I'm talking from the artist right. part. Mm -hmm. uh, the artist part is is fun because you get to do what you love. Like yeah, I'm not forced to do it. Mm -hmm. It's something I want to do. I sleep and the guys. With. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, oh ah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy doing it, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, you enjoy doing it. It's actually um, like you're passionate about it. Yeah, but working, I can't say I miss working. I don't know who misses working. It's okay, but I should just answer your question. Um, working depends because you know my career path and they. Do, it's like they, they're totally different. Yeah. So like, yeah, but I also try and enjoy working. <laughs> but during this time, I haven't really been. Active on that side. I've just right. Been more okay. Of, yeah. Cool. Music part. All right. But hopefully things. <laughs> get hopefully back to, things go back yeah. to normal. Now, before COVID, what was your favorite venue to play at, or what has been just like your, the the highlight event, the one you played at, and you're like, I did that. Like you know, I did that. Like which venue so far have you been like super was, excited about? Now the venue and you as are like maybe you as Bizarro. What has been like that highlight event? Like the one you can never forget. Um, as for the venue, I'd, uh, that's a bit tricky to say because, you know, we, we, we don't usually hold the shows in a specific... Yeah, yeah so what has been your favorite one I can so say far? highlight as <laughs> because we, we move a lot, yeah. I'd say Metal Fest because yeah. we, that was our comeback show yeah. after we had been in hiatus for like, I don't know, I even lost count, I think five years or so. That's a long so time. So when you come back and... I, perform in Metal Fest. That was an amazing event and I wish we could it was. do it again. I was there. Yes. And everybody, you, he's insane. You should come mm. to events and see how hard it, he goes. He yeah. goes hard. Uh, right. And, and the event, so that's the, like the venue the and that's the event as well. That's, yeah. that's a, that has been your highlight. Mm -hmm. Nairobi Metal Fest. So, I doubt we're going to have one this year though. Can no, you have maybe a, virtu a virtual one? Next yeah? year, I think. Oh, announced. next year, yeah. Yes. Oh, we can do virtual. Everybody is doing virtual yeah, events. We can what, also why? do virtual. Who do we talk about? Okay, can we talk to you? you go, okay. think I'll, <laughs> Who do we talk to? I'll make some calls. <laughs> yeah, yes. please. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make some calls. Right now, so what does the future hold for Aphasia? Like, do you have like um, a, any like a, how do you say it? Like maybe a dream of the band or where do you see yourself? Like, which direction are you guys going to? Now that you're here to stay, so many you're not yes, leaving. Yes. You're on a long hiatus and you're mm. not going anymore. You're here to stay. So, yeah. what's the future for Aphasia? Even if it means me learning to play drums, <laughs> so just go play drums. <laughs> Any, the you band is here that. to stay. Yeah. And uh, as far as our approach, uh, what we are, our plans for the future, right. we just intend on, first of all, just continuing with the writing, right. maybe do an EP mm -hmm. first, 
because we are getting different influences. You know, right. I have some influence from uh, some rock bands in the in the like Kanyeki. I have some influence from there. I have Shout some influence him. from Kanyeki was he was actually Irony. here two weeks ago. Yes, yeah. like we, when you have Irony guys from different bands, well. yeah. like you get to have your own sound. Yeah. So we hope that we can just maintain that characteristic aphasia sound and yeah yeah just remain our we are working on it remain relevant yes. work on your sound okay now that you mentioned sound well, what's your sound how can you actually describe your style of music like fine it's rock yeah. it's metal what, what, what kind because people have like this like this doom metal this death <laughs> there's all these kind of different sounds what's yours uh as far as aphasia goes mm -hmm. it started as a math call all right. Mathco, that was our first one, as bodies in the ocean. For someone who's watching at home, they're like, what? Like, okay, what did he say? Google in a layman's language. <laughs> uh, we were doing Mathco, but now we are doing Metalco. I think you guys are familiar with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know? We're doing uh -huh. progress, progressive and Metalco. Progressive mm. and Metalco. That's mm. what's up. Now, as Bizarro, maybe as we wind up, first of all, like uh, just like an inspiration. Someone watching who wants to be in a band or mm -hmm. wants to be a rocker, doesn't know how mm -hmm. or how to go about it or what to do. What, what would you tell them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I would tell them for those who want to be like, right. OK, I can't if you want to be a rocker, yeah, I cannot tell you how to be a rocker. <laughs> that is just it's Obviously. from the heart if you yeah, love the music. Yeah. But as far as the band goes, you know, you just go for it, Yanni. If mm -hmm. you feel like you you have the passion to play guitar, do vocals, you don't even have to like go to some high ranking vocal coaching, whatever. <laughs> just start go small. to the shower and start shouting <laughs> or singing. Uh, you and just go with it yeah. and you just do what you enjoy doing. If you want to be a guitarist, I cannot talk much on the instrumental part, right. but for vocals, I'll say like what I did. Me, I just, I saw this on uh, the guys I looked up to, and I was like, ah, I'm going to do that. I'm At first, that. I sounded like a cat, but <laughs> after like a year or so of Nini, I learned how to, <laughs> and I was able to get some people, and we were able to, you know, guys were the same drive. And right. Just, and it just worked out. Yeah, so. Cool. So anyone out there, if mm -hmm. you feel like you, it has to come from, you're not told to do it. Yeah. It has to come It's just like you, you just find yourself yes. doing it. So find your own path. And yeah. now that we have social media, you don't actually need like a, a TV to play your song or mm -hmm. ready to play your song for you to be it. Like you just start on social media. Start small, like yeah. you said. Now I'm gonna give you I'm gonna actually give you a chance to send us some shout outs. Who do you wanna shout out to? Oh. And and also tell us your social media as Bizarro and as Aphasia as well. And then Hughes okay. will be coming back to play as music, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, my social media handles uh, on Facebook is I have a very long handle. Yeah. Daniel Roca Bizarro Wanyeki. And right. uh, the band page is just Aphasia. Aphasia. Yeah. That is a a P H A S I A. Right, Aphasia. Aphasia. Mm -hmm. oh, that's on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's on Facebook, Twitter. On, Twitter. on Twitter, Aphasia our handle is K -E. underscore K E. Oh, Aphasia underscore K E. Yeah. And Danny on Twitter. On Twitter, I'm Danny hyphen bizarro. Hyphen. D A N. What happened to underscore? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's bizarro, not Aphasia. <laughs> Yes. Right. Yeah. So, Danny hyphen. Is wow, it hyphen it's been a while. I think it's an <laughs> It should be it's an underscore. underscore. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. COVID, man. Make some small errors. I'm so sorry. Like, why would I even be laughing at that? Mm. But anyway, um, oh, shout outs before we leave. Uh, uh, oh, my God. Yes. Those ones. <laughs> wow. This is that list that can incriminate you so i'll just <laughs> i'll say i'll just give a shout out to the rock community mm -hmm. all over the country not even just in nairobi uh the usual suspects people we used to hang out with in the shows right we still hang out mm -hmm. and to the bands uh, if i start saying names i think i'll you guys have to play the show for an extra hour so oh. <laughs> i'll just say i give a huge shout out to the bands that have influenced us as aphasia right to the rock community that has held us ever even since we were apart and they're still here, they're still supporting us. And uh, last but not least, to mm -hmm. the rock tour for having us. Yes! Me. Rock yeah. tour, guys! He actually totally mentioned us. Yeah. That's super, super awesome. Yeah. He didn't forget. And uh, we have a rock 
Mwanga in studio. How could you forget that? That's oh, cool. Yeah. I was it's, just like, yeah, we have, like, big can man, you, big can man, you Jay. Not, can you not forget? I thought I saw him. Man, COVID has changed people. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, I'd give a shout out to Julius. <laughs> <Kaya>. <laughs> I call him Jay. Yeah, he actually. Yeah. Use camera, use camera. He, use camera he one. actually holds the button for the next hype man. He's actually yeah. outdoing me. So, <laughs> you guys watch that space. Yeah. Julius Mukai is coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, let's be zero, guys. So, so, now that we've been talking to yeah. him, he's amazing. Yep. Go check out. Go actually check him out. Mm -hmm. That's at uh, Bizarro. Um, no, da Danny Bizarro. Danny Bizarro. Yeah. Or even the handle of the band, you can just find me. Aphasia. Mm -hmm. Underscore PE. That's on Twitter. Not hyphen. It's just. <laughs> Yeah. Now the hashtag is rock two two five four at feeling doing at his skills at white two five four at at Asia. Also, don't forget to tag them, follow them as well, mm. and we're gonna be playing you some more music. Come back, send more shout outs to you guys. See yeah. you. Yeah. Keep it white two five four. Yeah.